Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to learn a funky little jam on the U-Bass. Featured on this track is Chaz Chambers, who's an awesome drummer, and if you like the way he plays, please check out his channel for more of his drumming. Alright, so the intro is probably the most challenging part of the song. So here's what it sounds like, and we'll break it down in a minute. Three E and a, four E and a. So first we're going to play the seventh fret on the A string two times, and those are both sixteenth notes. Then we're going to play two open E strings, and those are both going to be eighth notes and then everything else in the measure is going to be 16th notes. So now that we've played those two open E strings, we're gonna play the seventh fret two times on the A string once again. Then we're gonna play the fifth fret on the A string, then the seventh fret on the E string, the sixth fret, then the fifth fret, then the third fret, then the 5th fret, the 6th fret, and the 7th fret. Here it is a little bit slowly. Alright, so let's play this together. 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh, 1. All right, so that's the intro. Now let's try the main groove. So here's what the main groove sounds like. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play the open E string. Then we're gonna play the seventh fret on the A string. Then back to the open E string. So, so far we've got this. So there's a little bit of syncopation in this part, so I'm going to count 16th notes so you can hear how it lines up. One E and a two E and a. So the open E is on one, the seven is on a, and then that last open is on and. One E and a two E and. We're going to slide from the fourth fret to the fifth fret on the A string, and then we're going to play the seventh fret on the G string. So after we slide from the 4th to the 5th fret on the A string and then play the 7th fret on the G string, we're going to do a hammer on from 5 to 7 on the A string and then we're going to hit the 5th fret on the D string. So 5, hammer on to 7, all on the A string, and then we're going to play the 5th fret on the D string. So let's play this together. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a So now let's do the second half. It's almost entirely the same, only the ending's just slightly easier. So we're still going to do the first half the same. Open 7 4, slide to 5, and then 7th fret on the G string. Then we're just going to play 5 on the A, and 7 on the A. 
So let's play the second half together. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So let's play the main groove, those two measures back to back. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a Alright, so the next part is just the first half of the groove. And then we have our first bass fill. Here's how the fill sounds. It comes in on the end of beat one. So first we've got a little slide from the seventh fret to the eighth fret on the D string. And then we slide back. So we only hit it once and we slide forwards and back. So now we're going to do a little hammer on pull off combo from the fifth fret on the D string, hammer on to the seventh fret, and then pull off back to the fifth fret. So we're staying on the D string for that entire thing. So here's both of those things back to back. So let's play it together. It's going to come in on the and after beat one. Three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a. So that little trick is the hardest part of the fill. So now all we've got to do is play the seventh fret on the A string, then back to the fifth fret on the D string, then back to the seventh fret on the A string. Then the 5th fret on the A string, then back to the 7th fret on the A string again. So let's play that whole fill together. 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a... Alright, so let's play it from the groove, which is starting on the measure right before it, and then into that fill. So the first half is the groove, the second half is that fill. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a... Alright, so the next three measures are just the groove again. And then the fourth measure is our next fill. All right, guys, so the next fill sounds like this. Four E and a. So the first thing we're gonna do is hammer on from seven to nine and then pull off back to seven all on the G string. Seven, hammer on nine, pull off to seven. Then we're going to play the 9th fret on the D string. Then we're going to go back up to the 7th fret on the G string. Then we're going to go back to the 9th fret on the D string. So let's do that part together. 3 E and a 4 E and a. So those are all 16th notes. So this next little part is just a hammer on combination from the 7th fret on the D string, to the 8th fret, then to the 9th fret. So you can see I'm using my index finger for 7, middle finger for 8, and ring finger for 9. Then we're just going to play the 5th fret on the D string, then the 3rd fret, and from this 3rd fret we're going to hammer on to the 5th fret on the D string again. Then we're going to pull off to the 3rd fret again. Then we're going to play the seventh fret on the E string. So let's play this whole thing together very slowly. Three E and a four E and a one E and a two.
So this fill is very difficult. I'd recommend practicing it very slow and work on those hammer-ons and those pull-offs. So after this fill, we just go back into the main groove and we play the main groove one and a half times. So that's three measures total. And then this time, we let the drummer do the fills and we just take a break. So the first time, we're gonna play the groove. And then just hit the seventh fret on the A string and slide out of it. All right, the next time we do it, we're gonna do a very similar thing, except we're gonna hit the open E string after the groove is done. Still the same three measures or one and a half times through the groove. So that part will sound like this. And after we either slide out or hold the open E string, we're just gonna wait for the rest of the measure so that the drummer can do his thing. That brings us into the bridge of the song. All right, so the bridge has its own groove and it relies mainly on octaves with a little slide in there just for fun. So it sounds like this. Actually, that last open's technically not in it because that's just going back into the first groove. But let's jump in with this. So to do this, we're gonna play an open E string, jump up to the second fret on the D string, then back to the open E string, then we're gonna move up to the third fret. And we're gonna do an octave away from that. So third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the E string, and then back to third fret on the E string. So, so far we've got open E, two on the D, open E. Then we've got three on the E string, five on the D string, and back to three on the E string. So these two back to back sound like this. So let's play it together. Three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So after we play the three on the E string, we're gonna slide all the way up to the eighth fret on the E string. Now on the U bass, this is a little bit tricky if you have round wound strings, because they kind of dig into your flesh a little bit when you do slides. So just be careful to slide lightly and maybe don't practice this part too many times in one day. We're gonna slide from the third fret and we're gonna eyeball the eighth fret and then that way we'll land right on it when we do this slide. So from here, we're just doing the same octave move. So from the eighth fret, we're gonna go jump up to the 10th fret on the D string and then come back to the eighth fret on the E string. So, so far we've got this. So let's do this in time together. Three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a. For the last part of this, we've just got seven, five, and three all on the E string. So let's play the whole bridge together and we're gonna go through this whole pattern two times. Three E and a four E and a So after the last note of the bridge, we're going to go back to the original groove and we're going to play it one and a half times, followed by the intro. So that's going to sound like this. So we're just doing the first half of the main groove, immediately followed by the intro. Three E and a four E and a. Alright guys, that's the whole entire lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you'd like to hear more of Chaz's drumming, you can check out his channel up above. If you'd like to get the tabs and backing tracks like the one for this lesson, you can go to my Patreon and become a member. Alright guys, see you next Tuesday.